The next squat is using that chair squat, that narrow squat, and working on your bottom position here. So here for a lot of people, the two big uh, constraints are going to be at their ankles and their hips. It's going to be slightly different than ankle and hip constraints uh, with the natural squat, uh, the full squat. So go ahead and drop down into the bottom position. So here she's going to try to sit on uh, her ankles uh, as low as possible. She's trying to create, um, minimize the uh, angle between her torso uh, and her thigh. So trying to compress the body into the legs. Also trying to compress the leg, uh, upper leg into the lower leg. She's still using arms for counterbalance. And then she's floating on those flat feet. So you're, or you may want, you know, if you don't have a full uh, narrow squat like this, your heels may want to come up uh, and off. Try to avoid that. Uh, try to have as much pressure in the entire foot uh, as you can. And again, if you're having a, a hard time reaching into the bottom position, that's fine. Your bottom uh, chair squat might not be where these are. It, may, it might be uh, halfway up or, or, or partially up. Um, and again, go through our assists and modifications video um, if you're finding difficulty for every re any reason on these. So there's your chair squat. <laughs>